Welcome back into the free course on how to create a blogger website with WordPress. Tim Knox here. Uh, in this video, we are just getting started on our journey to setting up your blog or website using WordPress. Now, the very first thing you have to think about after you've done all the considerations that we talked about in the earlier video is where will you host your WordPress site? Now, that simply means uh, where will my WordPress files be stored? You need a hosting company to do that. Now, you are free to use any host that you want. You can put your blog on uh, any hosting account. You may find a free account. Uh, personally, I'm a big fan of hosting on Bluehost. Uh, Pat Flynn turned me on to Bluehost a long time ago, and now I use them for all of my hosting. The reason I do, number one, is it is really economical. I don't want to say cheap. Uh, it's inexpensive. Uh, you can do it for $3.95 the first month, $7.99 the month thereafter. That includes a free domain name, which is a biggie. Domain names now run anywhere from uh, $7 bucks up to $40 or $50, bucks, depending on the domain that you, you register. But if you do go with Bluehost, it's $3.95 the first month, $7.99 month thereafter. They have one-click WordPress install. What I love about that, is once you have your hosting account established, they send you a link to log in. You literally click once to have WordPress installed. You don't have to go through any kind of uploading or any of the other stuff. Uh, so again, I like Bluehost. You are free to host with anyone that you like. Uh, this course will pertain to any WordPress installation. But again, for my money, uh, Bluehost is the company to do that with. Now, full disclosure, I am an affiliate of Bluehost. And if you are over on the Create a Blog Free website and you click on that button, I'm going to get a commission. I appreciate it very much. It is how I make this course available for free. The revenue that I sustain does come through hosting and affiliate links, and that's how I can make these 20 some odd videos completely free. Again, host with anyone you want, but if you do want to support the blog, uh, just click on that box there. You will go over and you may see a bunch of different plans, but you can get started again for $3.95 a month. Before you do that, you need to think about a domain name for your blog because Bluehost is going to give you a free domain name. You need to register it as you are going through the process of getting started. For example, if I click Get Started, I'll show you. The very first thing they ask you uh, is uh, after you choose your plan, they ask you what domain name you would like to register. Now, if you have an existing domain name, you can just forward it over to your new blog, but if you have a new one, you will put it in there. So let's talk about domain names for just a minute. Chances are the domain name that you're thinking about might already be taken. Most logical domain names, especially shorter ones, are already gone. Uh, you try to register them, it may tell you that it's already taken. You may have the opportunity to purchase that domain name, but it would be at a much higher uh, amount. So what I like to do is go to GoDaddy. That's where I have all of my domains. And I will go here and I will search for whatever domain name I'm thinking of. So your domain name may be representative of your business. It may be representative of your name. I think you should own your name as a domain name, just in case. I own timnox.everything. Um, so again, up to you. Uh, it may be that you are wanting a domain name that reflects the topic of your blog. Let's say you are blogging about puppy dogs. You may want the domain cutepuppydogs.com. I guarantee you it's taken. Let's see. If it's not taken, I will register it right here. <laughs> so there you go. You can see that most domains that just contain logical words together are going to be taken. So you may have to think about a variation on the theme. It may not be uh, cutepuppydogs.com. Now you can see they have optional domains with .dog, .org, .co, .net. I try to keep everything a .com simply because uh, that is the most common domain name and that's the one that people will typically search on. So cutepuppydogs.com is taken. What if you add my to the front of it, mycutepuppydogs.com? That is available. 
$11.99 a year. Well, it's going to be free if you do it through Bluehost. So right there, you're actually uh, you're making money the first month. Uh, you might not like my cute puppy dogs. You may try your cute puppy dogs. The best way to approach registering a domain name is to think like your customer. What would they type in at Google to find a blog like yours? If I go to Google and type in cute puppy dogs and you own cutepuppydogs.com, chances are you are going to be high on the search ranking. So after you go through the first exercise we talked about earlier where you are defining who your customer is, think about what words or terms or phrases would they type in at Google to find you. So maybe it's a uh, uh, cute puppy dog photos. And this is assuming that you have cute puppy dog photos on your website. All right. Cute puppy dog photos dot com is available. I'm a little surprised by that. So let's look at one more. Let's say your blog is going to be uh, you're going to be reviewing dog treats. You are one of those wacky people and you are going to personally test out dog treats and let people know how they taste. So we might say uh, dog treat reviews. Believe it or not, it's taken. Someone already has dog treat reviews. So again, you can type in my dog treat reviews. It's available. Uh, you might do something like dog treat reviews. You can use dashes uh, 101, etc. So there are a lot of tutorials on the, the web about reviewing or uh, about reserving the best domain name. Just spend some time. Give it some thought. Think about, again, your customer. What is it they expect to see when they get there? What do they type into Google to find you? Because that's how most uh, internet traffic originates now at Google with someone typing in a search phrase. So here's your action items. Go sign up for Bluehost or for whatever hosting company you want. Make sure they do have WordPress uh, available that you can install. Get a domain name, get all of that done, and come back in the next video and we will get started.